I know sometimes less is more, but I am, um, my philosophy is more is more. <laughs> I like things very full. Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are all well and safe and are having a wonderful week. Still nice here in Sheffield, still warm. The sun is still out. I think they said that the temperature would drop. Hopefully not. But yeah, fingers crossed. So today I'm going to share with you guys a couple of projects. Well, it's one really with a few alternatives. A few of you have told me that really gave me wonderful wonderful comments and feedback about the paper flowers that we made last week uh, i put them here in my little box with my paper buttons and lists all together um so when i need them i just you know get them out of the box and you know they won't break so a lot of you guys have given me really wonderful comment and thank you so much i really really appreciate it just to uh, come back is uh, I have used this lovely punch uh, that I got on sale from Stampin' Up! But again, you can use any sort of punches. That's, you know, that's beside the point. You just use any beads, um, any uh, diamond things, any wooden embellishment, anything that you have to make these flowers. And they're very, very simple. And I have a few questions from you guys. I said, what can you use them with? Well, anything really, because the flowers. Uh, but anything. So today I'm um, going to share how... I'm going to use them to create some little bookmarks, like the bookmarks that go on the corner on the books, or you can use them as pockets, like floaty pockets for your journal as well. You can do what you want with these. Um, so I've made two already. So one is the one in pink, and I use uh, my paper doilies, but we get to that in a minute. And the uh, one in yellow, oops, in yellow. So you can use any sort of colors that you want. You can use any sort of dimension and size that you want. Up to you. Uh, let me show you what I have have used that I have, but you can use anything that you have. So let's present this the page of your book. And then what you do is simply put in there. Ta -da! You just simply press it with your finger and that will do. And on the other side, you can have a corner. I mean, this is not, this is a folded paper, so that's why I'm struggling. But yeah, so you get the corner as well. Yeah, so, but again, you can use them as a floating pocket. That's the front, that's the back of plane. But again, you can embellish the back as well. So it's totally up to you, just to give you a few ideas. Right, that's the principle. Let me show you what I have used. I have used, um, this is from my stash, these beautiful um, Fussy Cat flowers, uh, very Victorian, love them. And I have cut um, this little bird, love that, because I'm going to use uh, a, I know on camera it looks like turquoise, but it's more like a very deep, very deep um, dark green. And I'm sorry that you guys see it as a turquoise, but it's a very nice green. And this bird, it's got a lot of green. Can you see it? I'm not fussy cut it because life is too short. But yeah, it doesn't. I'm, I'm having the white background, it won't bother me. Uh, but on those two here, that one, it was a solid image without white. There is a bit of white in there, but I mean, who cares? Yes, so what I simply did, I mean, this is couldn't be any simpler. I've got all my, oops, what's going on? Sorry, just having a moment. Um, so I've got different um, paper dollies. I've got plain one, white one. I've got this heart-shaped one. I've got the colored one. Anything, you can use any doilies that you have. So I'm going to use for the base of the pocket slash bookmark, I'm going to use one of this white one. So what you do is simply fold it in a half. I mean, you could match the holes perfectly, but again, who has got time for that? And it's not about being perfect. And what you do, right, I'll tell you what I did. I put at this stage I only put the glue 
in there just on the half circle shape here there and then fold it up again and then i'm just using a piece of uh, acetate just for my scrap and then i create the corner so i simply fold this again so fold it down so you get a nice sharp corner and i'm using the acetate in there to glue down just these the one with the holes you see all these little holes in there i mean you don't have to do this but the the risk that you make that you take if if you don't glue this down um, when you put the page it's going to go inside it's going to be very very fiddly so i recommend you to do that and having the acetate sheet will stop this size here adhere to the back so again so what you do you're just peeling off slightly look at that it's a really nice design from the glue now you want to let it dry for a few minutes but just to show you guys um what is mine what did i do with it what did I do? oh there get a baby wipe sorry about that i mean you will normally let it dry and please do so because otherwise it's going to be a mess like this is going to be but it doesn't matter just to show you guys and now we're going to glue this side again a bit of mod podge but you can use any glue that you want Just in there. And I like the fact they're white because it makes it stand up a lot. But if you're not a fan of white, if you you know if you really hate white, you can coffee dye these and make to be fair, or even like colour them, stamp them can do anything really got all different options and then again you slightly peel it off and you see because the glue is still wet it, it did that really nice design again okay so let's pretend they're dry what i did i put a strip of my double side tape but again you can use anything that you want can use hot, uh, not hot glue, uh, liquid glue, but I prefer because the um, where's my paper piece? Paper piece? Oh, there is. Um, because the this is very wet at the minute. If I put more wet, it's gonna be a disaster. Um, and also having that dry adhesive will support with the strength of the of the actual corner. Okay, so I need to be very careful. I'm going to put this back on because it's still very wet. Right, so that's the corner, okay? So what you do, you get the smaller one. So I'm lucky because this is smaller than that one. So you position it, kind of like off-center it, so you get this nice layering. And then you fold it and create another corner. And then you fold that back up. So you get this really nice effect and then again open it put some glue on this one i'm only where is it there i'm only going to put the glue on here first and then literally just going to put some blobs in the middle I mean, you can make this in bulk um, if you do craft fair. This is a really nice craft fair idea because um, you can make them in bulk. You can use any imagery that you have. It doesn't have to be flowers. You can use anything. 
and then what you simply do just put some more glue pull glue like that so there is no yeah there's no way that it will lift up i think i left i missed just a little bit there and i clean might as well just clean the brush okay i'm conscious this is going to be attached to the sheet but yeah please let it dry properly because the especially the paper doll is so thin yeah i think we should be fine now right so next step you're going to put the image that you have anywhere that you want so i'm going to put it this way because i'm going to cover that with the flowers because i want the bird you look i want to look like the bird is um resting on the flowers so do that first I mean, you can ink up the, the edges as well, but again, I want them to be the white to stand up a lot. So one there, and there is a little ladybird as well. I don't know if you, if you noticed it, but she's quite big, so I'm sure you won't miss it. I might put a third, you know. I should put a third. Hmm. Two or three. Of it there. Yeah. Three. I know sometimes less is more, but I am. Um, my philosophy is more is more. <laughs> I like things very full. Yeah. And that's the third little pocket slash bookmark slash whatever you want to use it for. Okay. Right. That's it. I'm going to go because it's dinner time. We're gonna have a really nice lunch. Don't know what's in the menu for Jamie's off today as well. So we're gonna have a nice lunch together. He's working on his stuff downstairs and I'm up here. Really nice in peace and tranquility. Right guys, let me know which one you like. I must admit, yeah, so you see once it dries off completely it, because of the mod pot the glue it gets that really nice thickness. So that you can use this as a napkin ring. You can put the, like a napkin as well inside. Do you know for your table? If you do like an Easter. Yeah. Anyway, you can just do what you want. So pink, yellow or wet green. <laughs> I must admit, I do like the pink one. It's probably my favourite. Right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me put the lid back on on this. Because knowing myself, they're going to end up on the floor. We want them to be safe. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. If you like this little project, please give me a big, glowy thumbs up. That will support the channel and the video. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And until next time, stay safe and well.